Okay, uh, hello again. It's, um, Ben here again. And today I'm going to be cleaning some coins. Now don't get super mad at me or whatever because I'm cleaning coins. These are really not that valuable. They're like crappy high minted wheat pennies and stuff like that. So I'm just going to be cleaning, uh, pennies. And I'm already starting one. So what I didn't hear, I looked, I went on a forum or whatever, like an official website. And it's told me to get distilled water so we had to go buy it go out and buy that you can get it at walmart for like a dollar and then where is it some soap i don't think it's out here but i just use like some soap you'd use in um the bathroom like foaming soap and i put that all in a bowl right here and then you just drop the penny in there and it works wonders so i think this one's about done this should out of here here i'm gonna use my hands because that's not really working here we go. So, um, I think this is a this is a 1910 wheat penny that I found coin roll hunting. Amazing, I know, right? And then, uh, yeah, it was pretty crusty before. I don't think it's all the way done. So I'll come back to you when I think it's all the way done. And my, it, it, it looked pretty bad before. It's looking a little bit better. But yeah. I'll come back when, um, uh, it's, um, all the way done. Okay, so while I have this, um, soda and distilled water going, I am also running another coin cleaning experiment here. Now, I saw this trick done a long time ago, or it wasn't in real life, but it was a video. You take a line, and you put two old copper coins in, and, uh, they're supposed to shine them up, and, and I've had, this has been going since about, like, one maybe and it's 325 right no yeah 325 right now so i'm gonna take them out and see where they are so here's wheat penny number one you can see the back's pretty shiny and this is a 57d i use really common dates i come by all the time so yeah it looks pretty nice i have a coin in my collection somewhere that looks kind of like this like someone used a lime to shine it up yeah, if you have like pretty dirty wheat pennies that aren't um uh that aren't very valuable, you just want to have some fun. I think you should try this. And then I'm gonna move on to the next one right here. Yeah, this one's not as clean. It's still it's still kind of got a ways to go. But this is a 53D. It's still pretty nice. You can see you can read the date a lot easier now. So yeah. Those are there t them too, and I'll show you a before and after, like uh, a um bad like how they look before. Or whatever. So another experiment that I'm going to be trying is I'm going to um instead of putting the coins into the lime, I'm going to put the lime or the coins I don't know the lime into this bowl, like the juice the lime, put it in the bowl, and then put the coins in the bowl, and then yeah I'm gonna see if that'll work too. So that'll be another experiment. So I'm gonna cut my lime in half, and I'm gonna ju put the juice into. All right. Lime. After squeezing squeezing one lime, I have gotten this much juices, and now I will put another 1953d, another 1957d wheat penny into the lime juice thing, and then I will compare these two and see how they are at the end. So here goes 53d. And here's 5070. Both in there, and I'll spread them apart a little. There we go. So, yep. Now I'm just gonna wait on these two and this one. This one still isn't done, by the way. So, um, th these aren't the exact coins, uh, obviously, because I can't have two of the same. But, um, here's a pretty, uh, usual, your run of the mill, regular Joe 1953D wheat penny. Then here's the one with the lime. Then here's the run of the mill 1957D. And here's the lime 1957D. And then here's the one that I found. I found this in a roll. I bought it at like an antique store. It's Paramount Antiques. Pretty cool place. And I bought two uh, full rolls of wheat pennies. And this was one of them, I think. So yeah. You can see it, it looks mostly like these two. Like someone shined it up a little. But yeah. And I also got this coin over here that's pretty disgusting. 
And look, it's a 57D, so I don't really care if I, I lose it. So, and I'm going to put it in here after this one to see how it turns out. So, yeah, um, I'm going to see if that 1910 has finished getting cleaned or up. Okay, after about an hour or two, all the experiments I wanted to do are done. So, here is the wheat penny. I really didn't do much. I took a blunt knife and just tried to scratch some of it away, but yeah, I really messed this thing up. Don't get mad at me. Okay, it was an experiment. It's just a 1910 plane. They're pretty highly minted. And I already have one that's in better shape. Yeah, here's the one that, that I found. Never mind. And then here are the ones that I put in the lime juice. So here's the one that I put in the lime. And here's the one I put in the lime juice. You can see how better this one looks and nice it is. I wouldn't recommend doing this. I just spoon around. But if you really want your pennies to look like this, go ahead. Yeah, this one looks a lot better than this one. You can see how better they look okay there's that and then here's the um I, I don't know if i told you i was gonna throw this one in here but i did wipe it off it's pretty limey where'd you go here it is it really didn't change much either it was up kind of shiny but not really <laughs> so in um conclusion this was pretty fun and yeah, I'll see you in the next time, yeah.